Hey everybody, Roger Thunder here. Uh, people call me that sometimes. They have been calling me that more lately. Don't know why, Roger Thunder. It's correct though, if they want to call me that. Tribal people go through different names. They call you by different names at different times. And I, who knows, maybe I snapped into a parallel universe. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about, because Stamp Mad sent me this thing about this super collider. They'll probably blow up the fucking planet with that thing. Um, because that's the wrong way to go about searching for black holes and parallel dimensions and all that good shit. Let me tell you right now, you don't need a super collider to go and search for, you know, parallel dimensions and black. You can do it right here. You can go there. You can go there. So they got, you know, if they're searching for black, they got a black hole in their head is what they have. This is like trying to take a jackhammer and to get through a dam and when there's tons and thousands of tons of water on the other side of the dam when they could just walk through the dam without even using a jackhammer spiritually I threw the baby out with the bath water kind of yesterday and I guess I'll do it again today and I'm going to talk real here about channeling dimensions black holes that kind of thing uh, you don't need a super collider yogis do this all the time I've been a practicing yogi since 87 uh, I know all about yogis I know all about what they can do and what they can't do I do some of the stuff okay as a musician, as a yogi, as a martial artist, as a meditator, I do some of this stuff. And I do it when I do videos. I'll just start channeling spirit and I'll let spirit guide me and direct me as to what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do. So let me explain channeling a little bit and I'll do it in the form of like from a musician's point of view because I think most people can understand that. Now most people don't know it. Some people know it. I'm a jazz musician. I have been amongst other things. I'm, you know, uh, sorry I've done so many things in this life, but I have. Uh, a jazz musician, an accomplished jazz musician, okay? And I've played with all kinds of people, worked with all kinds of people that are considered quote unquote heavyweight. So I guess that makes me a heavyweight. Uh, and I've played concerts before three, 4,000 people. And so when you do that, First, let me start off by saying, in order to become an accomplished musician, you have to use discipline. Years and years of discipline, form a, form a style, form a certain way of playing, learn all the rudiments, learn all the notes, learn all the scales, learn everything inside out, forwards and backwards, so you can play it in your sleep. And then you, <coughs> excuse me, you, uh, you have to, you, you get all that knowledge and you get it in there and then when you go on stage as a performer that really is channeling the holy wind or the spirit or the creative force, you have to forget all that stuff and you have to step out of your own way. Now I've played at concerts where I've risen above my body, looked down at my body playing the drums by itself, okay, not me playing, but 
channeling the holy wind or the creative energy and letting it just flow through me, getting out of my own way, and being a vehicle of transformation or tra transformation and transportation and channeling, okay? Because what happens is <clears throat> it goes right down through you, comes out your limbs, plays the drums, plays the music, projects all that energy right out to the crowd, goes through all their auras, goes through all their energy centers, circulates, comes back in a complete circle between you and them, raising your consciousness and their consciousness, taking them to a whole different place. And musicians do this all the time. And if you listen to people like, today I was listening to John Coltrane and Archie Shepp, two of the greatest jazz saxophonists in the world, at the Newport Jazz Festival, I don't know when it was recorded, playing my favorite things and taking it to a level just unbelievable. And if you listen to John Coltrane's album Ascension, you will ascend. It may say, sound like crazy music to you, but if you just get high or do whatever you do, kick back, chill, and let it take you away, and don't try to analyze it or say, this is good or this, just go with it. You'll be channeling too. And so that's what channeling it is. It's not all this Esther Hicks, New Age bullshit, you know, I'm channeling Seth Speaks or whatever. You don't need to do that. You just uh, you channel your higher energy, your higher, you tap into your extraordinary person which makes you not who you think you are and people don't even know who you are and people aren't even going to know uh, things like this the normal the normal numbskull on the street doesn't know this stuff the normal person that lives every day that just listens to their top 40 crap which doesn't even approach, yes, it's okay to listen to that stuff. If that's what you like, bring back all those old memories and live in yesteryear and have it remind you of a, a former relationship or a time in your life. That's cool. I'm not saying that's not cool. It's just not on the level of uh what we call real music or, or spiritual music. John Coltrane forged a whole new direction in music, as did Charlie Parker and people that knew how to really, what we call improvise on a theme. And that improvisation was channeling. There's no doubt about it. Now this is done in other areas too, but what I'm saying is when you open up that channel, you can go anywhere. You can go into realms, you can take the journey, and if you know what I mean, and come back again. And tell other people about it. And you can channel when you're speaking, you can channel when you're writing, you can do all that stuff. And you can go through these black holes that they're searching for with these super colliders, okay? You don't need a friggin' super collider. They're going to blow up the friggin' planet. And the Hopis talked extensively about black holes and what do you think emergence is? They talk about emergence all the time from, what, from the fourth world into the fifth world. It's like going through a wormhole. And if you don't know how to do this, if you haven't, and the, see, this all takes discipline. Okay, to be a yogi, to be a practicing yogi, to be a practicing spiritual musician, to be, to, to be anything on that kind of higher level of consciousness, a holy man, whatever, takes discipline. Years of it. Years of it. And it takes communing with spirit. And it takes communing with the extraordinary people. There's people walking on around on the earth today. In physical form. Spiritual people. Get my drift here. 
that are here to help and you can call them whatever you want but you might not even know when you're talking to one you might not even know it and they might just be showering you with information and energy and all kinds of things and you may think they're weird even So when you're channeling this energy, it, it, it's, it's changing your reality, okay? And you can tap into this at any time. In fact, you might just be tapping into it without even knowing about it half the time. Once you get there and you do it, it it's almost second nature. It's almost second nature to just channel channel spirit channel it you but you have to get out of your own way you have to get out of you you have to release your your what we call our self and let just become like a conduit for the energy or for the channel the water to come through and if you're not doing that then I pity you when the time comes that this whole consciousness, this whole reality goes into a quickening process and the only salvation that you're going to have is not from some guy coming down on a white cloud named Jesus and a, a legion of angels and that wasn't what Yeshua was all about. Okay, That isn't the way it's going to happen, people. It's going to happen as a channel that comes down through each person and either you got that channel open or you don't and when the time comes when that energy comes down to form a cocoon or a bubble around you for protection and you slip into that other dimension and you're looking through this like glass bubble and you see everything on their outside world disintegrating around you in complete chaos and you're sitting inside this glass bubble being fed beautiful perfect spiritual energy to sustain you and to get you through it uh, that's when you know you know you're really that's that's your true savior okay is is being able to do this and raising your consciousness. now those that don't have that consciousness or haven't d opened that channel or haven't even approached it or don't even know what their chakras are or anything and that would mean like <laughs> a lot of people on earth uh it's going to be harsh it's going to be a harsh reality because it's going to be like it'll be open for them it will be opened for them and if they're not ready if they haven't practiced certain techniques it'll be like plugging a 20 watt bulb into a thousand watt outlet okay that's what it's going to be like they're going to be overwhelmed with this energy that's trying to come through to protect them and their their channel isn't going to be open and it, it, who knows what's going to happen Okay. But the Hopi talked about the star people and the Wuya and all kinds of things, you know, emerging and ascending and parallel. And I wrote a book called Emergence that, that seems like an innocuous novel, but it's deep and it tells you all kinds of things about sacred scrolls and in the form of a story. And uh, parallel realities and all that good stuff but the Hopi said it better I just tried to transmit it through a novel so people would, would get it okay, on some level but the Hopis know about this stuff and other people know about this stuff and yogis know about this stuff and the Dalai Lama knows about this stuff and the light that just changed knows about this stuff 
Sorry about the lighting. If it changes, it changes. It's meant to be. What can I do? I can't do anything about it. It's energy, people. Fluctuation of energy. Uh, but you have to, you know, you have to have this channel open. Period. You don't need the super collider. That That's going to... They could use that, you know, these idiots could just, they could, it could cause such problems that they would say, oh, it could be a false flag almost. It could be, oh, we messed up and the world's in chaos now and we need martial law or the earth could wobble or something could blow up. Let's not forget the super collider is on acres and acres and acres of land goes around in a circle and they're messing with atoms. And what did the Hopi say about the gourd of ashes? Messing with atoms. It'll kill us. This is what these idiots do. <laughs> you know, this is what they do. This is, this is the way they like to play with their little toys of destruction. And why, what is the purpose of this super collider? What is the purpose of it? Uh, war. Another weapon. What else? doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to, to figure that out, does it? Give them an edge somewhere. Let's tamper with the, the, you know, the basic building blocks of the friggin' universe so that we can create war against other people. And you think that the, the, the Chu Chocom and the Harmonious Ones and the star system people from Pleiades are going to allow this? You think they're going to allow this? Think again. Uh, they're going to bring they're going to bring emergence upon themselves. They're going to you know they're going to they're going to end up in a real real bad space. Okay. I'm not going to be there because I'm gonna, I'm I know how to channel. Okay, and I'll just channel right into another reality, another dimension, another whatever and if you don't know how to do it then it's the reason that thunder comes on here or roger thunder comes on here and says time after time after time after time do these spiritual practices do these breathing exercises do this yogi exercise do this being in presence exercise be a yogi. Don't listen to yogis. You, you be one. You practice it. Be a Kriya bond. Move the energy around your system. Move, you know. What have you got to lose? Nothing. And don't have a closed mind about anything including music. Some people go, oh, that music, you know, that sounds out there. Well, it's supposed to be out there. It drives me crazy. You know why it drives you crazy? The, the, the you know, the spiritual heavy jazz idiom you know why that drives people crazy? Because they don't understand it, and they're not even near that level, and they can't figure it out. But they, you don't have to understand it. All you have to do is feel it and let it wash over you and quit trying to figure it out. I always judged people by the kind of music they listen to. Sorry. And by judge, I, I don't mean uh, that I don't like them or that I'm putting them down or anything like that. I just form an opinion off what I see as their music. That's the consciousness level they're on, okay? And as a musician that's a disciplined musician, uh, that's been there for years and years and years again, 
I have the right to do that because I paid my dues and I put in my time. And so if I want to look at what people listen to as music and go, yeah, well, that's probably where their consciousness is, then I have that right, don't I? Doesn't mean I don't like that kind of music or don't doesn't like them, but I just double, I see things. And so that's, you know, and so let's liken this, let's liken it, you know, the, we got a top 40 population. We got a top 40 population. Let's listen to the top 40. And that's like on a very mundane level. Uh, and they're listening to the top 40 of, you know, the media and, uh, you know, uh, the little shows they watch on TV, you know, about the different stars and star for a day or idol for a day or the idol, American Idol, whatever the fuck this shit is. That's the consciousness. That's the mentality of people. And that's why we're in a world of shit right now because nobody's on a spiritual level. Nobody even realizes what that is. They don't even have a friggin' clue. They're not even close. They're not even in the ballpark. So if you're relying on the mass population out there to, to uh, change things through their consciousness, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your friggin' breath. And it's disappointing in a way because this has been going along a long time. I was talking to somebody. You know, people were commenting on my video about how long, you know, with the Iran-Contra and all this stuff and how... See, there's dark people in control. There's dark people in control. And there's people out there, again, extraordinary people, that are walking around the planet trying to help people and trying to wake them up in gentle ways and not so gentle ways and harsh ways and all kinds of ways. Okay. And these people just don't friggin' want to wake up. You know? And it's like sometimes you got to pour cold water, just like in the old west when you wanted to wake somebody up, you got a bucket of cold water and just splashed it on them, threw it in their face. Huh? 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 huh what? And so thunder might get, you know, intense and throw buckets of verbal cold water on people. Because it's too late to fuck around with being Mr. Nice Guy anymore, it's too late for that. And being as it's too late for that, I'm going to say the shit I want to say. <laughs> if you like it, fine. If you can't, but if you don't like it, if you can't take the heat, get out of the friggin' kitchen. Period. End of story. Nobody says you got to like me. Uh... And so you you know you really have to you really have to think about things in terms of all the stuff that they're doing around with these super colliders and their technology and their this and their that. Uh, if they can't do it spiritually, if they can't get to that dimension on a spiritual level, it, it's like. Again, it's like them trying to jackhammer through a dam and it's going to bust open and all those tons of water is going to come fl flowing through and, and it's going to just drown everybody in a sea of, of horrific intensity. So preparing yourself doesn't necessarily mean just having a bug out bag and being able to you know go to places uh, in the wilderness but nature will be the best place to be because the spirit that moves in all things is that 
which you are channeling as a you know an accomplished musician or accomplished meditator or accomplished yogi or whatever you're tapping into that spirit that moves in all things and that's where it is out in nature It's the natural order of things. But you can tap into it anywhere. You can tap into it anywhere. You don't need to go into a church. You don't need to read a Bible. You don't need to believe in religious dogma. You don't need to believe in a friggin' Savior. Okay? That's all bullshit. Okay? Sorry to say it, but... And even the people that they believe is their Savior said it he said it if you listen close enough you will do greater things than I just a teacher a spiritual teacher it's all Yeshua wanted to be just like those of us on this planet that are walking around right now that are kindred that that's all we want to be is spiritual teachers we don't want to be liked or disliked or just listen to us for God's sake no pun intended so all this stuff that you're seeing around you all this chaotic stuff use technology and dark energy and dark people is a result of you not opening up the channels in your own uh, being. That's what it's a result of. And that channel is pure light, okay, which overcomes darkness. What happens when you go into it, you know, when you go into a dark room and flip on the light switch? It overcomes darkness puts a new light on things hello and that's why we see all this stuff happening in, in, in you know in our mundane lives that are it's totally out of control and chaotic because chaos reigns supreme chaos reigns supreme and the darkness in that chaos is preponderance is the preponderance of things right now and so it needs a little light in there to balance it out you know you got all these people with their walking around the planet with their light bulbs turned off bingo turn the light on people go to other dimensions push the envelope pilots have a saying okay and yes, I'm a pilot too, okay. Uh, pushing the envelope, pushing the envelope means taking, out, taking it outside of the normal boundaries, breaking the sound uh, barrier, things like that. Pushing through the speed of sound uh, exploring new places, not being in the same old rut every friggin' day. And I'll do that. I'll push the envelope. I will do things like that till the day I'm not here anymore. Okay. Till the day I decided to just kick this frame or just enter into another dimension. Now, I, I enter into other dimensions, and I've taken the journey, and I've been back. I've looked over the mountain, and I know it's possible. I know it's possible for everybody in here. So your only Savior, okay, your only Savior is listening to the people that you call saviors or listening to holy men or listening to and learning the techniques that they were trying to teach you <clears throat> transcendence love compassion ascending descending different things they're going to help you 
and help your fellow man. All right, I'm <clears throat> my throat's getting. Uh, I talked. I think I made this video three times today because I wanted to do it right, and so I'm like, that's why Thunder's voice gets hoarse because he's done the video twice, three times already, and went, nope, don't like that. Wasn't channeling the right energy, wasn't coming through right, I wasn't opening up to uh, what needs to be said in the right way, whatever. You know, it's just like, you know, some concerts go good, some concerts go bad, some don't go as well, you don't channel as much. Uh, you know, some days go well, some days don't go so well. Depends on how much in the groove you are, baby. In the groove. That needle's got to be in the groove. That channel's got to be open. Okay. Uh, that's what's happening, okay? That's what's happening. Take it for what it's worth. This is Thunder. Roger Thunder. Jumping on his... favorite Indian pony and getting the hell out of Dodge for a while. Maybe I ought to chill out for a while and let things cool down. Adios.